What's good, Bit Rushers? It's Kyler, and today we're going to talk about getting X die. We're going to use the die stable token and trade on Uniswap. If that sounds good to you, please stick around. Before that, just a couple quick announcements. I'm giving away a Moonlander this month. It's a USB ASIC miner. If you'd like to win, comment on one of my videos or all of them throughout the month of September. Please join my Telegram group if you want more access and extra tips and trading, as well as uh, recurring revenue and mining. Please also follow me on Twitter at BitRush9000. Links for all of these in the description. All right, guys, let's get into it. So what exactly is XDAI? Let's turn to this Medium article because it can explain a whole lot better than me. So XDAI is a cryptocurrency that is pegged to the US dollar, has super low transaction fees, and fast transaction times. These features make it ideal cryptocurrency for the use in everyday transactions like retail stores and peer-to-peer -peer transfers. So what does it mean to be pegged to the US dollar? Basically it means it's gonna stay exactly at a dollar or as close to as possible. And super low transaction fees, it's gonna you know, be such a small decimal that it will be um, a percentage of a cent and it won't really be like a $10 transaction like we're seeing on the Ethereum network and those are cheap transactions on the Ethereum network. Does it mean to have fast transaction times? It means it's not gonna have to wait 10, 15, 20 minutes for transactions to go through. It's gonna be five seconds, awesome. Why use XDAI and not just DAI? Great question. Simple transaction fees and transaction speed. Transaction fees for XDAI are about 0.000021 of a USD versus DAI, which equals about 15 cents per transaction. XDAI has five second transaction and DAI is one to three minutes. So even though DAI is better than Ethereum, XDAI is even better than DAI. So let's just use the best one, right? I guess that's basically what they're saying. Let's use the fastest, cheapest one. How do I get XDAI? That's a great question. That's exactly what I'm going to tell you. So let's get into that. So on this Medium article, it's going to tell us how to get the XDAI. So the first thing we need to do is connect to the XDAI wallet um, or the XDAI network with our MetaMask wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, you're going to need to sign up for one. I have another video I can link to on that. But you're going to need to come here. And if we click the three little dot hamburger menu, we can do the expanded view. Click that. That will open MetaMask in another window. And so you can copy and paste. And from here, you see the top network. We can go down and go to custom and it's gonna ask us to fill it in. From this, I am gonna just use the article here. If you want, what you can do is just copy out of my description as I'll leave all this information in the description. So the network name is gonna be xdai. URL you need to copy and I think everything else is actually optional let me just double check that though chain ID 100 symbol X die oops spelled there wrong that probably helped And that looks good. Save that. Okay, once you've saved the XDAI network, you're now ready. We can go back to Uniswap. And from Uniswap, from the overview here, you see we need to search DAI. Stablecoin. And this should be stable around a dollar. So Technically, it's a little bit over. It does go a little over, a little under, but basically stays right around a dollar. Click the trade button. So from Uniswap here. 
so right now we are on the XDI network, so we want to switch our network back to the main Ethereum network, okay? So we need to be on the Ethereum network for Uniswap. So now I'm back on my Uniswap wallet, and you can see I have, or I'm sorry, I'm back on my Ethereum wallet, and you can see I now have Ethereum in here. So we're going to switch this by pressing the pink button because we're going to switch from Ethereum to DAI. And let's see, how much did I have? Sorry. 0.4. All right, that looks good. And once you have the amount that you're ready to swap, go ahead and click swap. I'm gonna ask you to confirm, and you are gonna have to confirm that on the Ethereum wallet. It's gonna ask you to pay the gas fee, which for me at this time is 450. And we do now have that transaction pending. If you want, we can click to open it up and do on Etherscan. And it says about 45 seconds, so let's just wait. There it is, success. Come back to Uniswap. You can see transaction confirmed if we open up our MetaMask wallet. You can now see the Ethereum is gone. And I should have DAI in here, but it's not showing up. Um, let's just see. So I'm going to need to add a token. And we can copy it out of the URL. Everything after the token slash. Copy. Come back to MetaMask. Add token. Custom token. We're going to paste that contract address in. It will fill in the rest. Die 18 decimals. Click next. It will tell you how much you can do this before and you'll have none, but just go ahead and then confirm, add tokens. And now when I come back, I do see the die in my wallet and I can see the amount here. So now once we have die in our wallet, we're ready to switch to XDAI. Switch to XDAI, we're going to come to die-bridge.poa.network and you can see welcome to token bridge ui app beta plus we're launching our token bridge in our ui app in our beta testing basis while we worked long and hard to develop the core features of the software we expect that users may detect bugs and other issues help us improve by posting them here on the support page okay so basically they're letting you know use at your own risk there's still bugs in this this is still a beta if you confirm to all of that and that's okay with you, hit continue. And it's saying your wallet didn't connect. That's what you saw. I opened this earlier, so it'd be ready. But it was trying to connect my wallet, so I'm just going to click OK and refresh the page. There we go. And now it's asking to connect to our MetaMask wallet. We can now click Next and confirm we're connecting. So make sure that you're still on your Ethereum network wallet here because you see we're switching from Ethereum mainnet to the XDAI chain, okay? So this is basically just doing a bridge swap from the Ethereum network to the XDAI network. Um, and it's going to swap your coins. So to do that, we're going to just do this here. And continue. And you're gonna have to pay the gas fee, I believe in Ethereum still, because this is on the Ethereum network. And confirm. And it's waiting for block confirmations. This does take a little while. I'll fast forward it for you guys. But the reason why is that this is switching between the blocks. So it just takes a little while for the extra confirmations to confirm. You are in fact doing this switch and all of the different networks pick it up across all of the chains. Okay, we did get a confirmation and our die is gone from our ethereum wallet let me just hide that wallet now hide die and that way it won't show up in your wallet and clutter it up and now we're just waiting for the remainder block confirmation so those first two obviously happened on ethereum and now we're waiting for the rest of them on the x to i network 
there we go. It has been successful, and my coins are now swapped to the XDI network. Let me just verify that. We can come up to MetaMask. And up top on our network, we click the drop down menu, and we want to click on the XDI network. And now I do have 150.55 XDI. And now that we're on our XDI wallet, we could swap back our XDI to our DAI on Ethereum. So that's the way that you swap back as well, just to show you guys that. So now that we have XDI, what are we gonna do? So I tried not to allude to this earlier in the video, but some of you could probably tell by the uh, Medium article. We are gonna play around with some honey on HoneySwap. So if you're not familiar what HoneySwap is, it's basically a Uniswap using the XDAI chain and XDAI, and because of that, it's gonna be extremely, extremely cheap. So you can actually swap tokens here, just like you can swap tokens on Uniswap, and pay a much less fee. So it's gonna ask you to choose the list. I'm just gonna select the HoneySwap default list, so select that. You can also like save your own list, that's why. And here is the list, so you can see a few of them. They're starting to add more and more. I saw this list the other day and it looks like a few have grown. So just like Uniswap, I believe you'll actually be able to add your own tokens and anyone can add their own pool. And so if there's a token that you want on here, you can most likely add the pool and provide the liquidity. And just so you know, it is kind of a copy of Uniswap. You can see they still have some bugs in here and they haven't switched out their own branding from the B to the unicorn. Someone probably needs to get on that. But other than that, guys, um, this thing's gonna be legit. I'm gonna show you some more um, how-tos on HoneySwap in a future video. So if you'd like that content, please sub to the channel and click the bell to be notified of future videos. Please smash the thumbs up on this one. Please share this video with any friends or family you think may also like this content. Want to know how to switch their Ethereum to DAI and their DAI to XDAI and get ready for the new low fees on HoneySwap. That's it for today. Happy mining. Let's get that coin.